Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World. This is tutorial 7. It's not really a tutorial, it's more of a test, it's a theory. Uh, it's got a book symbol, so I'm a bit worried, so... Yeah, might be the worst thing I've ever done, but let's do it. Hmm, <laughs> a, a theory. It's sort of like a, a written test, isn't it? Hmm. It's not going to be fun that much. We'll see what it's like though. Oh, the map there, Rockwood Mines, Shaw Mines, Salisbury Junction, Garrett. There's a lot to this map. I think it's like 120 miles long or something. Train break theory. This is where you'll learn all about train breaks and how they work. Okay. It's quite simple. Oh, okay, maybe not. I, I kind of struggled on that last um, episode, that last tutorial. So let's let's have a look. Yep, panning camera hype. On this locomotive, there are three braking systems available to the engineer. Wall. Dynamic. Dynamic Earth. Auto. Auto. And independent. And independent. Light UK, Kappa. Right, let's get on to this. Um, Dynamic brakes work by reversing the polarity of the traction motors. Yeah. When a train is moving, this action causes resistance against the turning axis. As this system only works when the axles are turning, this means the dynamic brake. <sighs> of course it does. It's not going to be working when the brakes are stopped here. <laughs> train or auto brakes work by controlling air pressure in a brake pipe that the runs brake the pipe. entire length of the train. This pipe connects to brake cylinders located on each individual car. In turn, these cylinders push directly onto the wheels to slow them down. What dialogue. The other one, pal. Locomotive or independent brakes are similar in operation to the auto brake. However, this brake only affects the locomotive itself, not the entire train. The independent <sighs> brake is used when switching cars in a yard. Or for holding a stop train on level or low grade. Okay. So, what are we to do, pal? Oh, God. When the auto brake is applied, it directly affects something called the equalizing reservoir. Think of this readout as the target pressure for the air controlled brakes on the train. Next to it is the brake pipe pressure. Yep. Oh my god, it's going to take us through every single thing. Next to that is BC. Because. Maybe not. Do we get to play with some stuff? So, as the engineer, you set a desired pressure via the equalizing reservoir, and then the brake system will react to match this target. The graphics are alright. I'm not Perform a brake application on this train of 20 cars to see this process in action. Using the auto brake, reduce the equalizing reservoir. Watch for the brake pipe pressure indication to change, matching this reduction. So the auto brake's another brake one, isn't it? I don't see much, dude. I'll set the auto brake to full service. Ah, right, yeah. Ah, yeah, I see it changing now. The 4K screen change. Now let's see this same process on a much larger train. Head over to the adjacent locomotive and climb into the cab. Nice. Bye. Actually, I want to go this way. I want to go this way for a change. Not being this way yet on this train. Hey! Hello, everybody. Oh, there's nobody here yet. Track safety. Do not walk on the track. Dude, you just told me to get over here. How the hell am I meant to get over here if you're... Oh, God, game. I wonder if you can die in this game. I might actually try and get hit by a train one day and see if I can die. I wonder if that actually happens. You probably just click through it. 
see you see the frame rate really high here eh, very low here this train has a hundred cars does it let's see what difference this has on the a hundred repeat the equalizing reservoir oh my god again using the auto brakes watch how long it now takes for the brake pipe pressure to match the skill of the engineer is knowing when to start braking Wow, it does take a bit longer. Youch. Is it just me or does the graphics look the same as Train Sim 17? Lol. Is it just something I've got in my settings that I'm not not quite got the right thing for it? I don't I don't understand it. Yeah, T A A, is it anti alias sim probably? I can see if that's it. I don't get it. Um, hmm. Anti alias and off. Using the auto oh, God. That was terrible. Just X do them, try to fix something here. TAA, V sync. I can try to turn that off. Shadow quality. Hi, hi. Everything's on ultra and high. You can't get any high. I, I hate that. How some things are on ultra and some things are on high. Set the equalizing reservoir back. I never actually set um, Never actually accepted that. Let's see how that works. So it operates a release. Nice. This action triggers the brake pipe along the train to begin recharging. Okay. When the brake pipe begins to repressurize, the brake cylinders holding the wheels will vent their air completely to the atmosphere. This is a one-way trip. It's a one-way trip to hell. Partially <laughs> release these brakes. Okay. What next, dude? Why is that so... Sorry guys, I'm playing with my settings a lot. Need to get the correct thing though. Okay, let's just keep it like that. Okay, what have I to do? Okay, apparently it just let me sit there for about an hour. It's a lot to take in. So no, it's not. For now. Thanks. The key aspects to remember are brakes take a while to apply. So plan ahead and be patient. No problem. And the brake pipe will only begin to recharge when the auto brake is put into the release position. Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> what? Okay. Main menu, I'll show you what one that was. That was quite fun. Learning about brakes and stuff, learning about brake pressure. It's not it's not terribly exciting. I don't learn a lot from that. Yeah, that's that. There you go, that was that one. So yeah, in the next episode we're going to be doing that one. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, when you keep up to date with all the videos, go to my channel, please subscribe. And we'll see you next episode.